All right, Savvy, back at it again. I'm so excited. We are today talking about the glutathione patch and how important that is for our body. It's this incredible, super antioxidant, and that's kind of all I know. I know, uh, you know, this much, and you know, this much. So I'm blessed and thankful to have such an expert as you on so welcome savvy thank you for being here yeah let's see we did this a while back with uh the, the x39 patch that turned yeah. out good right yeah oh We're my gosh to the king the superhero the master antioxidant glutathione and why it's important that we have this patch and so yep. we'll get into it because okay immediately i think of the number one reason why the patch is so amazing as compared to the alternatives out there but maybe a lot of people have never even heard of glutathione they've never even heard of it right right oh when i ask uh or mention it they're like what's that i'm like it's the super uh, amino acid uh antioxidant yeah uh, yeah and so they don't know and so that's why we're here. We're here to share this information. And um, I know that you have a bunch of slides yes. and we can get really nerdy, but I'm here to kind of hone that in just a little bit. We'll share, <laughs> we'll share uh, just enough, not too much so that we can keep everybody like moving forward, right? But um, I'm excited to see your slides. And so um, I have them up would let me know would you like for me to start sharing them well yeah i think uh just a just for a second um the reason why we we picked this patch as the second patch uh is based on the fact that i work in the world of detoxification you're working in the world of movement uh which is yoga which in a sense rings the body out of toxicity with the movement that you do and glutathione uh you in, in in the most toxic world it's ever been in the history of man which is right now right something like eight thousand uh, man-made toxins in our environment uh, glutathione is going to come up as a major tool in the world of detoxification so if we have a detoxification uh strategy and then we add movement like with what you do it's a good one-two punch for a for a podcast like this yes yes and uh i am thankful that we're doing this patch second because to be honest i'm wearing two patches i'm wearing the x39 and i'm wearing the glutathione and I do that all every day. So those are my two main patches. So it's just synchronized that this is the the patch that we're doing second. So yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. So we could uh, we could go right into it because I forget how many slides. I think it's ten or twelve. All right. So not bad. We'll just free flow together on these patches. We could handle that. So very, very good. All right. So this is your first. <clears throat> first slide. slide. Yeah, there we go. Tell us what this is. Obviously glutathione. So here's your structure of the glutathione molecule, right? This is the power of glutathione. And what we're going to find out is that glutathione is the most powerful of all the antioxidants. And so antioxidants are the nemesis to free radicals, right? And so free radicals create inflammation in our body. So pretty much any disease that you want to talk about, any itis that's out there, colitis, arthritis, bursitis, whatever, any itis that you want to talk about is based in inflammation. Which is, which is followed by the uh, uh, free radicals. So free radicals, inflammation. And think of it in terms of like a fire. So when your body is inflamed, it's like it's got these fires all over it. Like rheumatoid arthritis, you're gonna hurt in every single joint because rheumatoid is everywhere, right? And so the way we quench that fire 
is with antioxidants and glutathione is the king, the superhero and the most powerful of all the antioxidants. And this is just your, your chemical structure of how it's built. It's built from three amino acids, which then becomes a peptide, right? So that's, that's what that slide is about. All right. So we already talked about it. It's the master antioxidant glutathione, three amino acids and a peptide. And so we just talked about this. The nemesis to free radicals are antioxidant. And always we use the apple as a good illustration because you can see that the apple, when you cut it, the oxygen causes it to what looks like rust. And so it's the same with us. We sort of rust as we get older and the toxicity continues to build up. If we don't get it out, we too rust and we become sort of calcified. You can become the tin man from being oxidized, right? So we don't want, as we get older, we don't want to become rusty, you know, as they call it, the golden years. We're, what we do here is we work as um, anti-aging and, and in a sense, reverse aging. And so the apple is a great illustration of how things rust from oxidation, okay? Now, yep. as you see here, uh, we have two other massive antioxidants. We have catalase and we have SOD, superoxide dismutase. These are the three top self-made by the body or the body should be making these three, okay? But what happens when the liver becomes a big bag of toxins itself? Because the liver has to filter the whole body plus clean itself too, right? So glutathione is massively produced in the liver. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Now but we need a healthy liver. If you're, if you have more toxicity coming in than going out, then you're going to super deplete your glutathione. See my point? And yeah. So we have to keep our glutathione levels as high as possible every day, especially as we age. But the other two are catalase and superoxide dismutase, just to make that known. Right. So my question is, where does glutathione come in the natural form? I'm just curious. Some foods, the, the, the first food that I think of that is high in antioxidants would be uh, avocados. And so avocados are the ones that come to mind first. Uh, other other foods, I can't think of them at this moment other than the uh, avocado, but the avocado is one that can boost glutathione. But again, let's think about it. Um, let's get nerdy for a second. Yeah, I was wondering about lemon and garlic. Well, let's think about it. Again, on our first slide, right, we had what? We had one, two, three amino acids, correct? Yes. So if the body is going to make its own glutathione, which it does, then we have to make sure we have those three aminos. I see. Body. I see. Okay. So, so now what we would do, Ta, is we would go to which foods have those three aminos. Ah, because we make our own glutathione in our body, in our liver. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Totally nerdy. I got it now. So it's, we need the raw materials as well. And so that's kind of what our patch is about. Our patch stimulates and activates glutathione uh, to be produced in the body. That's correct. What correct. Right. So we need the raw materials in, in, we need to be taking in the raw materials so that when that light activation, uh, that trampoline effect to stimulate this peptide that, that we have the raw materials to make it. Correct. Yeah. Got it. And this is why even though we have these brilliant patches, that is like a communication device to the body using light, right? It's a communication network using light we still always have to have the raw materials. Yeah. So the diet is really technically still king. Yep. Right? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Really, really good. All right. So okay. I remember when I first 
uh, presented this, uh, this everybody afterwards sent me emails and everybody wanted this particular slide. Okay. And I believe I got this slide from Dr. Frank Schellenberger, who is kind of the father of uh, anti-aging medicine. He's out of Nevada, Frank Schellenberg. Um, but you see here that when you look at these different categories of diseases and how low glutathione is associated with every single one of them, you can, instead of giving all these dis uh, diseases names like Lou Gehrig's, MS, Parkinson's, uh, lupus, uh, allergies, gingivitis, chronic fatigue, instead of giving them these names based on the symptoms, we could just say, these people all have low glutathione. Yep. Now, why? Why do they all have low glutathione? What happened? Their body is using it up because of the toxicity coming in, right? This is where it becomes so important to have filters on the shower, filters in the house for the air. What kind of food are you eating? Do you sleep? Are you cutting back on the radiation pollution? Everything coming in is what we have to, to get to a minimum so that we can clean the body up. Yep, absolutely. Look at, look at these, look at these uh, problems that we have here. Look at the neuro and brain. I can tell you that the brain problems are a big deal as regards glutathione because glutathione will, will chelate out heavy metals. And you've got yeah. aluminum and mercury and cadmium and lead and all these other heavy metals penetrating brain tissue. I'm telling you, my clarity is so um, on point when I'm wearing my patch and the energy uh, for the with the glutathione patch. Uh, those are the good days when I wear the, the glutathione. It, I, it's like um, kickstarts my brain for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it. So, so low glutathione is associated with a lot of terrible, what they call diseases. Yeah. Migraines are huge. Yeah. Recently, um, I've been, yeah, yesterday I didn't wear a patch and I had uh, a migraine for some reason, but today I put uh, the glutathione and I don't have any uh, headache. Interesting. As, as we go along, we're going to understand that. Uh, as regards glutathione, suppl supplementing with glutathione versus a patch, we're going to find out how important it is to use binders with this particular patch. Oh, interesting. Uh, because the reason for the migraine is if you have, for example, if you have toxicity coming out of the brain uh, and it's literally there's a healing, what they call a healing crisis because of it. This is where we're going to need to use binders. All right. Now, with this slide here, we talked about inflammation be, being like a fire in the body. Now, if you have something like rheumatoid lupus, fibromyalgia, these really bad systemic inflammatory problems, it's like your house is on fire. Okay. It's painful. It's burning. It's a miserable existence, right? Why? Why does the person have this? And how do we get rid of it, right? If they developed it, then they can also undevelop it, right? And that's the hope that people need to have. I mean, we're here to give hope because it's based literally in science. It's not a pipe dream. It's scientific that you can also undevelop, okay? So again, glutathione is made of what? three amino acids. So it's a tripeptide. What else is the tripeptide? GHK and the X39 patch. Right, right. Same thing that we talked about that last uh, video, our last show, where we're explaining how important the raw materials are for the tripeptide. So this glutathione, uh, can I read, says uh, cysteine, glycine, and glutamate. Glutamate, glutamic. Glutamic acid, or you could say glutamine. You could even say glutamine. Glutamine acid. I seen glutamine, one, two, three amino acids together. These three together can form 
glutathione. Okay, now think about it. Say, for example, um, you have lupus. No, let's go with fibromyalgia. Say you have fibromyalgia and you're taking uh, vitamin C and it's like a thousand milligrams a day. Let's go with the FDA uh, recommendations of something goopy like 500 milligrams a day. Nothing, just barely enough to keep. Yeah. <laughs> so let's think about it. So say I'm doing a thousand milligrams a day, like the average person, if they even get that. Okay, that's like coming to this house fire and taking a Dixie cup and throwing a Dixie cup of water on this fire. And we're trying to maintain all this inflammation. You can't do it. Right, right. You can't do it. And so it's like this. If I took you in to Dr. Carl Feltz's uh, naturopathic clinic here in Idaho, and I hooked you up to an IV drip, and I put into you 100,000 milligrams of vitamin C today in an IV drip, and you sat there for an hour, and you got 100,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Well, vitamin C is a antioxidant like glutathione is. I knew that. But unfortunately, vitamin C and vitamin E are on a one-to-one -one ratio. So 100,000 milligrams of vitamin C quenches 100,000 free radicals. Okay. But how many cells are in our body? 70 trillion, 80 trillion, up to 100 trillion cells. Even with 100,000 milligrams, a vitamin C on that house fire. I'm still only using a little water hose. Right, right. But glutathione is one million to one. Wow. Day long. It's like bringing two full fire departments to the house fire. Okay, got it. I am convinced. <laughs> it. That's why it's a super antioxidant. It's the king. Absolutely. It's a king. Got yeah. it. So creates inflammation, uh, toxicity and free radical damage, creates inflammation. Anything with an uh, itis means inflammation, colitis, bursitis, arthritis. Right. Think of it as a house fire. Right. But we can say based on our previous slide, or you have low glutathione, I could say uh, yeah. you have lupus, or I could say you're very low on glutathione. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay, so where, do our, where are all these toxins coming from? What is glyphosate? You know, Ta, what glyphosate is. Do I? Remind me. That's the Roundup spray. They spray it Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's poison. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Straight yeah. up poison, gluten. You know, people say, yeah. I have a gluten. Uh, I'm gluten intolerant. Yeah. What they don't know is everybody is. Yeah. It's yeah. Um, can I tell this? I, I have to, because I remember, because I watched your uh, uh, last show and one of the comments or one of the comparisons you made to um, poison oak. Correct. You, yeah, you did the poison oak. Everybody's allergic to poison oak. Everybody. Or, or uh, can be affected by po poison oak, but some are more so than others. So it's the same concept with gluten is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Well, Got it. Our, the, our gut tissue inside is like our inside skin. And so it's like the inside skin, like the outside skin, only it's inside. Yep. And so if you and I drop down naked and we roll around in poison oak or poison ivy, we're both going to blister. But I might blister way worse than you. And that would be uh, celiac disease. Because the, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So it, you, both blister, but I blister worse than you. Yeah. See what I mean? Absolutely. So, so gluten yeah. is a problem, pesticide, herbicide. What about ginger? Tylenol. You know, so many people take Tylenol regularly. Yes. Incredible. Oh, regularly. In fact, um, there were some people in my family, uh, when women, that would have these terrible, uh, their period, their monthly cycle was terrible. It would, they'd be on the sofa in the fetal position with horrible cramping and all this, and they would pop Advils and Tylenols yep. over it, right? 
It's the number one killer of livers, Tylenol. Oh my gosh. And, I, I, and you can just go right now and buy it, right? Yeah. Oh, and, I don't take that stuff at all. And the the um, the outside casing of, of these drugs have heavy metals in them. Okay. So look at plastics, heavy metals, EMF, dental, mercury, and the mouth. The lawn chemicals are horrible. The cleaners for the home, horrible. Chlorine destroys the gut. Fluoride destroys the gut. It, it calcifies the pineal gland. What about all the prescription drugs that they flush down the water? And that's where we get the, the, the expression tap is crap. You don't drink tap water. No, never. Yep. So, right, right, right. Yep. So all these toxins, it makes me sad. It makes me really sad. Um, we, uh, so many people know about all this toxins, but they don't really uh, understand how it's affecting them. Oh, you know? my God. Well, I mean, look, we talked about the liver has to deal with it all. The kidneys, the kidneys have to deal with it, too. The lungs. Yep. And then what about the brain? How many of these can cross the blood brain barrier? Now what? You see what I mean? Yep. And so, um, on top of that, even if our world was pristine and we live somewhere in Switzerland, way up on a mountain where it's beautiful and, and we're not affected by all of this stuff, just our own body creating ATP for energy burns metabolic waste too. Yep. It too burns metabolic waste on top of all of this stuff. And I remember this book by Rachel Carson that I read, a book from 1965, Silent Spring, 56 years ago. Even then, she said we were swimming in a sea of chemicals. So it's crazy. It's kind of suicidal what they have been doing to the planet. All right. All right. We're moving on. We're moving on. We, we get the picture. <laughs> It's <laughs> just so many toxins. But what do we do about it? And why, you know, how can we protect ourselves? That's that's what I, I would love solutions because we all know that, especially living here in California, uh, the water, especially having it on the house. Um, it If you are fortunate enough to live in a place that has cleaner water, I just uh, bless you, you, you know. But yeah, yeah somebody here in uh, living in this urban environment where California has this the worst water ever. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we need this every day to have, to have a super antioxidant within our uh, means, in, within our body. So here's a few bullets. Um, our body cannot make white blood cells, which are the soldiers of our immune system with that glutathione. It um, is so important that the body will spend 6% of all energy just to make it. It protects our mitochondria, the DNA, number one. It repairs our telomeres. And so the telomeres are the end caps, right, of our chromosomes. And it's like the longer your telomeres are, the longer you live. And so glutathione levels are directly related to your lifespan. And so if we can repair the end caps, then we're going to just straight up live longer. Your liver that we've been talking about, phase one and two of detoxification cannot occur without a constant supply of glutathione. An amazing thing is how it can recycle and give another life to the other antioxidants like vitamin C and E. I love that, that is excellent. Recycles the other antioxidants, such as the C's and the V's. <laughs> the yeah, vitamin the V's. E, vitamin E, yep. probably, um, probably even vitamin A, which is more fat soluble, but still. Glutathione, you, when you run out of glutathione, your, your life is over. So we have to keep the glutathione levels especially high. high. So the benefits and the facts. There's what we just mentioned about telomeres. The longer you keep your telomeres, the longer your lifespan. Chelating up the heavy metals. 
the heavy metals are pretty much everywhere. Uh, the folks out there that believe in chemtrails, well, in chemtrails, they're dropping metals from the sky. Um, but what I wanted to explain about glutathione, especially with this patch, this patch in our clinical trials is boosting glutathione by the level of 300% within wow. 24 hours. If you take glutathione orally by mouth, even if it's wrapped in phospholipids, um, you maybe get 10%. So 300% is so high with the toxicity in the world that I highly recommend. In fact, it's really non-negotiable that you have to add binders. And when I talk about binders, I mean things like activated charcoal, zeolites, bentonite clay, um, modified citrus pectin. I personally love Dr. Pompa's product called Bind because it's got about six or seven different binders all together in one capsule. And then you also have the very expensive at $200 a bottle, but it's the best of the best, Dr. Group Supercharged C60, which will grab everything that the glutathione chelates out of you. It will grab it all and we don't get this recirculation thing. All right, all right. Uh, so recapping, for those that aren't uh, uh, clear, there's, uh, and putting this into layman's terms, glutathione has a process that um, will have die off is kind of what you're saying, right? It will, the chelation is what, you know, we term die off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when somebody's detoxing, I know a lot of people don't believe in this detox thing and there's no such thing, but if the glutathione's coming in and doing its job, clearing up the blood and the keeping the uh, blood clean and, and helping the liver, then there has to be a uh, waste product, right? Well, so, the, uh, is, the, is the chelated um, chelation. And so these heavy metals that you're talking about, right? Yes. Is, that, is, is this kind of what we're, it has to go somewhere, but it needs to bind on to what the, the supplements that you were talking about, the pectin, the clay, the charcoal, all of those things will bind to it and help it come out of the body. So Correct. it's not recirculating within the blood. Exactly. exactly. I just I wanted to put that in different terms so that maybe somebody else could understand it. It's the street sweeper analogy. Okay. In the street sweepers kicking all the dust up, it just flies up in the air, it lands all over the place. We don't want that happening to plastics and heavy metals and glyphosates and all of these things that are now being purged out of the cells and out of the brain and out of the liver. We don't want to have a river of garbage in our blood recirculating and landing all over the place. We right. got to grab it, capture it, and take it out. And this is really important for those who are incredibly sensitive to uh, the detox process. And then they um, stop because it's too uncomfortable for them yes. because they are not taking uh, the binding um, supplements that will help them with their symptoms. That's exactly. what's going on. Yeah, exactly. So, so when, so the key is you're using glutathione, you have to match it. You're saying you have to match it with uh, a binder. I rec highly recommend it because otherwise they have what you just mentioned, the healing crisis. Yeah. And but then it, they stop. It can make them sick. Yeah. And then they say, this isn't working for me. It's, I'm not feeling better. I'm feeling worse. I'm feeling worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So important. I love that. And we'll put all those uh, products that you mentioned um, down. And, and if we have some direct links, that would be good. You know, I'm not sure uh, what affiliates you have and all that, but it sounds like it might be a good thing to share for sure. Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We mentioned this uh, on top of all the waste coming in from outside environmental waste. We have our own waste that we produce just by burning energy in the body. 
So we create our own uh, free radicals as well, just by living life. We talked about the vitamin C on a one-to-one -one ratio versus glutathione, which is a one million to one all day long. Again, we talked about the comparison of cups of water, which is the whole fire department. Uh, and then we talk about glutathione, even when it's being used up, think of the brilliance of this. Even when glutathione is being used up as a side effect, it helps produce deeper delta wave sleep. How amazing is wow. that? Oh, that's beautiful. So many people are having a hard time sleeping nowadays. It's an it's a epidemic, I've, I've heard you mention. It's an epidemic. And look here at heavy metals are so dangerous to the body that every molecule of, say, mercury uses two molecules of glutathione just to get rid of it. Okay? So uh, mercury in the teeth is a problem. If you have mercury dental fillings, you must get them out. Find a biological dentist. Get them out the right way safely. And maybe you only even do one at a time. Say you have six, you only do one at a time. And right. then my question now is, if glutathione can recycle other antioxidants, then what helps glutathione recycle? Well, look, in turn, we have vitamin C and vitamin E come back around and also assist glutathione. Then we have all the flavonoids and cofactors found in what? Fruits and vegetables. What about CoQ10? What about plant-based iron found in green vegetables in plant, what is called plant blood, chlorophyll? What about trace minerals like selenium? What about alpha lipoic acid? That is the number one thing to regenerate glutathione. So our antioxidants, think of them as a team, like B complex, the B vitamins are a team, and our antioxidant network is also a team. I love that. That's excellent. Good. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up. Really um, important point. And then it's another motivating factor to uh, eat those fresh fruits and vegetables so that we can get the top uh, live foods, you know, as the antioxidants work together with the glutathione. They all work together. And the beauty of the fruits and vegetables are that they're watery. And uh, it's a whole nother subject, but the watery foods are so important because they go in and they help flush. It's a structured water that's found in them and they go in and they're very good at cleaning the cells along with glutathione of this acidic waste. So the watery fruits and vegetables, you know, let's remember that if I were to show you an apple, scientifically, we know what's in the apple, but there's also things unknown in the apple that have not yet been discovered. And those are cofactors that we don't know about. That's why whole food always beats supplementation if you can get it. I love it. I love it. You always deliver. That's, that's uh, an awesome concept that there's undiscovered uh attributes in there and but we all know that we can sense it because it's alive it's a whole food and we sustain our uh you know our light with real food yeah so we're not you know, and yeah. unknown nutrients in the food yeah wow love that concept it's really good all right Every person with a disease-related issue is depleted. Yep, we saw that that uh, chart of all of the listed uh, diseases. That's correct. So there's a there's a doctor out there by the name of Ben Lynch, and he has a study called Dirty Genes, and he's talking about the human genome, right? So we have genes in the body, and we talked about. X39 can regulate up to 4,100 genes up or down like a piano tuning, depending on the person. Well, um, in the world of genetics, there are some people supposedly, there's a science with it, 
that have a hard time, for example, um, having a pathway to produce vitamin B12. Well, in some people, uh, there's a genetic weakness and being able to um, produce enough glutathione effectively in their bodies. So genetically speaking, they would already be behind the eight ball, as they say, in being able to produce enough glutathione. Hence, they really need to supplement with more glutathione. So if you were to do a 23andMe type of a test and you got a blueprint on how you are genetically and it comes up that you are low making glutathione, then especially our patch would come in handy for you, keeping in mind that we have to pay attention that, that we get all 20, 22 amino acids in our diet to make the glutathione, okay? So again, oral supplementation is very poor, um, 10 to 20% at best with taking it because you have to go through the GI tract. You got to get past the stomach acid of a pH of 2, 2.5. And then you have to hope that your gut is healthy enough for a proper absorption rate. All of this comes into play versus a patch. And what's the beauty of the patch? It bypasses the GI tract. Right. It's all it's only light. It's a communication device using light to the body. Okay. And if people want to know if we can prove that it works with only light, well, you go to our science tab on the website, go to the uh, patents and the studies, go down, find your glutathione studies, print them down and read away because we do have them. Yeah, it's just 300%. You've already mentioned that. And uh, then well, glutathione by 300%. So I love this because we've already talked about this. The caution, go slow as it can dump a lot of toxins into the blood. And we were just, just uh, talking about it's the chelation right? And the waste product. And as yeah. the body needs some free radicals, as also the body needs some free radicals as, as in its wisdom, it uses them to battle bacterial yeah. infections. Oh, you yes. haven't mentioned that. Yeah. So some free radicals in the body, um, the body uses them in a beneficial way uh, as, as an example, bacterial infection. And so some free radicals are actually needed. And this is the beauty of the human body. There's an intelligence there that we don't fully understand. That's why we can use light therapy. And we know it works, even though nothing is going in your blood. And yet we can prove it via blood work. So nothing's going in the blood, but the blood work proves that the patch works. Isn't that interesting? Yep. It's yeah, not. I mean, that that's... Uh, that's one of the first things I say when I'm talking about this glutathione is that it is in the blood. T uh, it, the results are in the blood. They're in the blood. Yep. And that's how they do it. And, and in the urine, by the way, blood and urine. Okay. So they can also test it via urine. So think about it. What we have here is a way to elevate the most powerful superhero king of all antioxidants by an enormous level of 300%. It's so high that we caution you to go slow and to use binders. Yep. Very important. Very important. Now, yes. let me share this with you. At the bottom there, it says maybe you only go three to four times a week. Now, as you're getting into it, and you're using binders, and you're starting to purge mercury, cadmium, lead, plastics, glyphosate, pesticide, herbicide, fungicide, larvicide, all of it is coming out, but you're catching it, and it's coming out. Imagine how the light now, the sunlight comes out in your life as now the brain fog's going away. My gut is healing. I can breathe better. My sleep is so good. My energy is up. Imagine, it's like taking out the garbage, right? We're taking the garbage out. Yep. Yeah. So now you can really heal. And we're doing what you do. We stack it with a, a stem cell activation patch, which now does what? Sends the contractors in. 
So we took the garbage out. We send the contractors in to rebuild tissue. Yep. I love it. You summed it up. The healing process. We need to I'm learn to talk to ourselves. And now that's a little, that's kind of a little comedy jab right there. This, this guy, <laughs> what is this? Oh, you're we talking about the nutrition, right? He doesn't have a clue. Right. Unfortunately, the medical community gets about four hours of training in our world. Okay, they might go to school for 12 years. I love it. And they get four hours in our world, right? Yeah, how your doctor looks when you ask him about nutrition. <laughs> now, <laughs> number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States, medical bills. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Really, if I work on my health myself, it's not really a cost. It's an investment. Yep. Oh, absolutely. This is your last slide. I love it. That's the last slide. <laughs> this is your last slide. <laughs> so, any other questions that come up right now for you, Ta? Um, I am going to stop this so I can answer that question. Um, well, when somebody has a clean diet and has been uh, fairly um, top top of the their game, you know, yeah, can yeah. they just jump in and do glutathione every day? All right. So the inventor of the patch is David Schmidt, right? I just recently heard him say this. It's very, very interesting. And this shows you the cumulative effect of doing the right things every day. Even if you start slow, right? Over time, right? The cu cumulative effect. Yes. He mentioned that with their testing, if you go five days with glutathione in a row, you got, say, this much benefit. Let's go this, this much benefit, okay? But if you go two more days and you went seven days in a row, the benefits double in the last two days. That shows you the cumulative effect of doing it every day, every day, every yeah. day. For example, like in, in my case for supplementation, I will do plant derived minerals every single day because I know the body needs at least 60 of them every single day. Conversely, if you miss, and this is from a documentary called Food Matters, say today on, say it was, um, uh, say Thursday, you get up and you're in a rush and you have uh, uh, coffee and a bagel and then you run to work. And at lunch you run and you get a Big Mac. And then on the way home, you stop and you get Popeye's fried chicken because you're tired, you don't feel like making anything. You go home and you drink two big glasses of Dr. Pepper. And at the end of the day, you say, Oh my gosh, my diet really sucked today. Tomorrow, horrible. Tomorrow, I'm eating. I'm only eating uh, straight salad all day. That's it. But you can never make up now for that day. And that's why each day, if we live within only that day, only the power of now, and we do these simple little things, wear your patches, take your minerals, make sure your diet's got the right amino acids. You don't have to be a monk about it, but if you can get to 80% faithful every day, 80%, and then what happens? Like the study showed, five days of glutathione is great, but seven days is doubly good. Two more days. Absolutely. I, I feel that uh, intuitively that that accumulation uh, repetitively, uh, for my body personally, I, I feel that it's ex effective, much more effective. I can, I can feel it as it builds and on that. Yeah. So thanks for uh, validating that. <laughs> you know, my body intuitively knows these things, but then the science, uh, comes along and, and shares the facts, which is so exciting. So, yeah. But what you're talking about is very amazing too that intuitively you know that um that's the awareness we talked about before that you're into the world now of awareness you're aware of your own body 
spiritually, physically, all of that. And I think the cleaner people get, the more aware they become. The it more feels, physically it aware. It feels really good. And so, I mean, not all every day, you know, I'm on point. Like yesterday was, um, yeah, so we do have these waves and it's just natural. But the, um, the intuition for me, and, you know, I'm still just thinking about the intuition for me, knowing that to, you go to, to use the patch for seven days. And then on that seventh day, I said, oh, maybe I need to take a break today. You know what I mean? Right, right. And then I stopped the patch, right? Right. right. That's right. another intuitive thing because I've heard that's important too. You don't want to be on it all the time. No, 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 no. Yeah, but, so I think about a little bit about that, why it's important to take a break sometimes. Well, it, it just is. I mean, it's kind of like with herbs, for example. I'll just use herbs as an example. So if I was taking uh, endocrine herbs or say herbs just for the uh, adrenal glands as an example, I, I don't want to take adrenal glands uh, or excuse me, adrenal herbs for um, herbs for adrenal glands every day for um, three months. So I have to give it a break. So it's kind of like with detox, you clean, strengthen, clean, strengthen. It's an in and out. Yep. So you have Absolutely. to give your body also a break too. So good. Yeah. I think we covered so much. We've been almost an hour, it's 45 minutes. So that's good. I think a, a attention span uh, for this nerdy stuff. I know we could ch chat much longer because we're so into this stuff savvy you and i i love it uh, Absolutely. but the average person they're like okay i got it uh, it's good for me uh show me how to use the patch <laughs> well you know that's the last thing we should mention yes. so um how do you use it uh, we use acupressure points mainly um and i'm going to take off this is a carnosine patch we'll talk about this some other day but i'm going to place I'm going to place it where I would put the glutathione patch. So if I can get this to show, um, yep, you can right, see that. Wrist, right wrist under the thumb is a, is a acupressure point for glutathione. Okay. And that's, and so I'm curious, how did we discover that? <laughs> how did David, uh, decide that that was the most effective place to put the patch, the glutathione patch with, um, it has to do with, um, meridian flows and so for whatever reason you know they have things called like the governing vessel uh area which is kind of like a lymphatic dump i think area i'm not exactly sure how david i figured that he's quite well versed in uh, chinese meridians okay so um scientifically there must be a straighter shot with communication of the cells via this pathway here there's others too that's only one of, of several what but, where uh, are the others uh i would have to look in in the book here when when folks order the patches they get a little booklet okay and in there it'll usually show them three or four different spots i only use the wrist because it's easy and easy to remember but what I about putting it written. right over the liver have you? Well, I, I don't see how you can go wrong with that. I mean, in truth, with the patches, you'll hear them say, technically, any spot will do. Yeah. So like with X39, um, you know, if you've got a bad low back, you can put it on the low back. Yeah. Um, you don't have to use the acupressure points. It's just more of a bullseye approach. I like it, putting it over the liver is a great idea to me. That's where I wear it sometimes. Because the liver is our, you know, is the, the detox organ, right? Yeah. So I just went there, glutathione right there on my liver. Because <laughs> it's, uh, that's, what, that's what it's helping. It's helping my liver. <laughs> All righty. I love it. I love it. All right, Savvy. Um, wonderful. Any last, anything uh, that we missed? Oh, my gosh. Like you said, we could go on easily for another hour. There's so much. With every patch, we could go on for so much more, but let's just remember that glutathione is attached to lifespan. And so the more glutathione you maintain 
the longer you live. That's the science behind glutathione mainly. And why is that? Because it's the king of the uh, detoxification agents of our body. That's why the body spends 6% of all its energy just to make it. Wow. So glutathione is, is a must have, especially as you age, you got to have it. Excellent. Excellent uh, conclusion. Wonderful. I can always count on you, Savvy. Thank you so much for being here. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. So I hope we've, we've helped some people. And like you say, you don't have to get all sciencey. Just know that this is a patch that you want to be using. Yes. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Next time. Are we um, done recording in